seriously should we take this tweet from the president? Uh, all of his various spokespeople have uh, repeatedly emphasized over the past 24 hours that he's going to sign the bill. Yeah, this is a very unpredictable president, and we've seen in the past uh, members of his administration, even members of his cabinet, have talked publicly about policy, and then the president makes a veto uh, of some sorts in terms of uh, making a public statement that's in opposition to what members of his administration have said. Uh, members uh, in, uh, on Capitol Hill are taking this very seriously. They're, they're trying to figure out whether they need to have some sort of short-term measure to uh, keep the government funded for a few days as they try to come to an agreement. Members in the, of the White House are also trying to figure out whether or not the president is serious about vetoing this, this bill, which they said just yesterday was a good bill that funds his priorities, was a compromise uh, where the president got a lot of what he wanted, Democrats got some of what they wanted, but uh, on balance they said that this was a good bill that the president would sign. Very many people within the administration have come out publicly and said this was a good bill. Now the president is saying that he's considering vetoing it, so it's really difficult to know what's going to happen in the end. But obviously the president has publicly expressed his concerns with the bill, and he could veto it, which could lead to a government shutdown. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that President Trump did not get enough funding for his wall. I mean, there's a few millions there for fencing, perhaps a billion, 1.6 billion for border security. But seriously, this is really just a fraction of what we, he was asking for. Yeah, he wanted $25 billion for the wall uh, that he could build on the southern border, but uh, this only provides about $1.6 billion with a number of different restrictions that would make it difficult to build the type of wall that he wants to build. And this is probably the, le the last best chance that he would have to get any funding, at least this year within this Congress, because this is the last uh, major spending bill that is going to pass out of this Congress. Basically, between now and November, members of Congress are going to be on the campaign trail trying to get reelected. Mm -hmm. There's a strong chance that Democrats could take the House back. And if that happens, the president could kiss goodbye the idea of getting money from taxpayers to build his wall.